welcome back to more Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Uh, in the previous episode, we died to some of the cards, and I went through and I looked at my deck. Now, there's a couple changes that I've made. Uh, as you can see, I've gotten rid of the 7 premium card and the 5 premium card. So I looked it up, and the premium cards, what they do is they reduce the CP. They don't upgrade it further than that. Another issue with it is the premium cards can only be used once in battle unless you recharge them by other means. The normal like focusing and powering up that takes forever, that will not get you a premium card back. So premium cards are great for slights, but as far as like lasting through a battle, they'll disappear after you use them once. So I got rid of a few, a couple of them, and I replaced them with normal cards again. Um, I also added the guard armor card, which slightly extends the range of attack cards. So I was kind of wrong on the part of what it did. Uh, I thought it was the heartless card, like shadow card that did this, but it's actually the guard armor card. So I'll have to remember what the uh, shadow heartless card does. But this is a limited for 30 attacks, so I'll have an extended range, attack range, uh, for 30 attacks, essentially. So through 30, 30 cards. Um, and that's whether it's successful or not. So if you use a card and uh, it's, like, guard breaked or whatever, it'll still count. So uh, I also added a fire card and... Like I said, I added an 8 card, I think, and uh, I kept the 1 and 0 here just because they weren't really useful to begin with, so they're just going to be there. Um, but I have reached my CP limit, so when I level up, I'll probably upgrade the CP regardless of the fact that my HP hasn't caught up with that yet. But we'll go ahead, and we've done that, so we're going to go ahead and give it another go. And luckily, we can skip cutscenes, so... That won't be an issue. Well, I'm, I'm giving pats. He's laying in my armpit now. Well, you can't whine like this. Alright, so let's try this again. Bum, 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 bum. Get rid of a couple of them there. Alright, so we'll use that zero card. We'll use that zero card. And we can use this fire card. That. Alright, so now we have the two reds. I can get rid of them. In fact, I'll use these two attack cards. And never mind. Oh crap! I hope that didn't waste that. I didn't get to use it, so I, I'm hoping not. But I do have an 8 card now, so I shouldn't be preoccupied with the 7 card constantly now. Let's try and use this stuff. Goofy Tornado level 3. Should probably have saved that until after I got rid of these red cards, though. Especially since he's completely missed the two cards on the field. And now that there's a larger group, it would have probably been more useful here. So that was my bad. Oh yeah, I had to downgrade my cure spell from level 6 to 2 since it was a premium. And that means I only get to use cure once in the entire battle. Unless I got it back by other means. Come on. I got rid of one of them. How about this? We'll use a two, a one, and a cure. No, that's only up to five, so if they used a seven, I'd be screwed. We'll try it. Ah, good. Good, good, good. Ah, 
That was close. Alright, we're down to two. Two. Two isn't bad. Come on. Down to one. Deal. Fire. There we go. I was thinking we might die again, and I was getting concerned. <laughs> soldier card. I can't remember what that one does. And we didn't level up. Woo! Where's Alice? Looks like she escaped. Good for Alice. Perhaps she did, but you won't. She's sending more cards on us. I think we're out of here. I think we've been trumped. Run! Key of Guidance. Alright, so we won't need... It won't be in this room. We'll have to go find a different room for that. But we do need to remember that the last room is back at the beginning. And we are a little low on health, as it would turn out. Hopefully we can fix that in the next room. Let's see. We need a one or above. Now, which you were an eight, so I'm not going to use you. Uh, teeming darkness, a room where many heartless appear. This is useful if you want to level up a lot. And I, I'm kind of debating it. The only other one that would be good would be this one, but that's one of my blow off ones. I think I'll do a teeming darkness and then I'll uh, edit out the random battles like I said. So in fact I actually, I might go through the entire room and uh, I'll deal with all the heartless and then come back afterwards. I don't know, we'll see. We got large bodies and I haven't fought one of those yet so I'm going to show off this battle of course. Let's get rid of you, shall we? Alright, so I want to go ahead and use Cure. And... Nope, I want to use this on you. That'll get rid of the large body. That's what was semi-important. They get annoying quick. One more you. Okay. I got a lot of low level cards. So this can get irritating real quick. I need to find some higher level ones. I need a uh, to get to a Moogle room. Moogle rooms are really good. Damn it. He blocked my cure. Donald was blocked. I did level up though. There we go. Almost done here. Alright, we got a random Joker card. That one's an interesting one. That puts it up by another 15. 25. My bad. Now, a random Joker card is actually kind of interesting. Oh. Come on. Back to all. No. 
fulfills any criteria except for key cards. So if I went up to a room with a random Joker card, if it said I needed a 9 red, this counts as a 9 red. So that's actually really useful. In fact, I think it can also be used to fulfill like the random plus 30 plus cards. So like if you walked up to a door and it says, hey, you need 30 points in order to get through. I think one random joker will deal with that. Alright, got another heartless over here. Okay, come on. I need a little bit of health. Those are moving points. I could use some help. In that room I actually got a no, no. Wild Bounty card, or a Calm Bounty. A Calm Bounty has no Heartless in it, but it does have a Treasure Chest in it. The treasure Chest usually contains an Attack card or of some form, so it could be a Magic item or whatever variety. But I did pick up that at the end of that battle. Come on, there we go. Come on, I need HP. Not Moogle points, although the Moogle points will come in handy later. Later. Come on, hop up there. Really nothing. Lame. Hey, I got this one. Okay. Health, please. You jerks. Alright, I leveled up again. I think I'll increase the CP again. Nothing. None of these want to give me help. More Moogle points. Give me an attack card. Alright, almost done. I think I have two more random encounters. We have these two large bodies to deal with. I was wrong. There's two more in there. Got a premium room card that time. Alright, I believe that is all of the heartless in this room. Oh, oh! One health orb when I was finally fully maxed out on health. Oh, no! I still have a few more! Where's the last one? I know there was two. Two of them popped up. There we go. That should be the last one. Alright, we leveled up yet again. So... We'll do a CP again. That should be all of them in this room. Damn it, yeah. I was wrong again. All right, before I even say anything, I'm just gonna look around some more. Heavens knows that wasn't the last one. Although it might have been this time. I guess one other thing I needed to mention about the battling system per, for uh, for a moment is that you can run away from battles. In order to run away from a battle, you have to like run at the side of a screen, so like this, and eventually a gauge will uh, open up. And here, I'll show you in this battle actually. 
So if you needed to escape for whatever reason, you could do this on specific sides like that, and you would be able to escape from the battle. So like, say I was in the middle of this battle, and I hadn't saved in a while, and uh, was running low on health, then I could run from the battle, I wouldn't receive any XP for what I had done during it, the Heartless would still be on the, uh, uh, in the field, but, uh, I wouldn't die, essentially. Now, this can also be a problem sometimes, because depending, uh, you could end up getting it to where, uh, Ooh, come on, come on, come on, do it, do it, yeah, boys. Alright, well he healed me. I'm gonna cast. I should have put the two goofies together and then we would have had one huge goofy move, which wouldn't have been bad. Specifically with those kind of battles, the way that I rank it is you have the horn guys, those are your main priority. The horn guys, uh, they have two moves that are both level 6 cards. Uh, one of them is to heal one of the Heartless on the screen, and another one is to call another Heartless onto the screen, and they can use either of them. It's random. So, you want to watch out for that. Then I'd get rid of the flowers, and then I would usually get rid of any of the, uh, like, Red Lanterns, those kind of Heartless, and then the Shadows. Um, but that's just how I would do it. Uh, if there's a large body that comes before regular Heartless, stuff like that. Got some Moogle points. Alright, so now I have two different ways I could go from this point. We could go up or we could go left. It looks like our objective is over here, but I don't know if this one goes left or if that one just goes up to it. So I'd still have to determine which one, which route I want to go. That one requires two... This one requires... Okay, so both doors require two... Uh, a, two or above to get into. Let me see here. This is level two, so I can actually show up. No, I did not want to use a zero. You lamer. Well, I can show off what a calm bounty is. It's essentially exactly like what I said. There's no heartless that will appear in this kind of room. It's just so you can open up a treasure chest and be on your way and this looks like it gave me a five stop spell so a stop spell is going to freeze all the enemies for a temporary amount of time good looks like we got a lady luck some hp yeah uh, that one was empty We're painting the roses red. We're painting the roses red. Alright. That's a room of rewards. So that card right there, the, the room of rewards card, is super rare to actually get. Like, I've only ever had it drop twice in all the times that I've tried playing this game. So it is super, super rare. Good luck trying to find one. I still haven't even picked one up yet, so... Uh, I think the last time I played through the game, I got one of them, and it wasn't until the very, very end of the game, which is where they're more common. The issue with that is, is if you get to the very end of the game, and that's when you start getting the reward, Room of Rewards cards, that forces you to walk all the way back to the previous rooms. So let's say you stockpiled... Uh, how many worlds are there? Five, six, seven, eight. Let's say ten. Say you stockpile 10 Room of Rewards cards by sitting there grinding in uh, the last area. Then you'd have to go back to every world in succession in order to use all the Room of Rewards cards. And the thing is, I think if you go back to a world, like say we used a Room of Rewards card and then we went back to that world after it reset, I think it resets it again. So yeah, you're getting some really powerful cards from it. But at the same time, it might not be worth the grinding that you have to do to get those Room of Reward cards. So, that's my take on it. But, uh, let's 
still at eight. I don't want to use that. Okay, so what this does, uh, a times two strong initiative card, basically what it means is if you get the first strike, so you're on the field and you hit them, so like usually that starts them off dazed. In this kind of room, not only does it start them off dazed, but they also have like a, a huge chunk of their health gone already at the beginning of the battle. Now, it looks like I only have one of those cards, but it would be nice, especially right for another battle, to deal with that. So, it's also really good for gaining XP. So, if I already have to deal with all the Heartless in this room to begin with, might as well yeah. be to where if I smack them first, I don't have to deal with them for that long. And I didn't even hit him first. Okay, well I failed in that one at smacking him first. Let's see if I can... Let's smack this one. Yeah. There we go. So, as I was saying, now they start off like severely low on HP, or at least the first wave does. Second wave, not so much, but... It would have been nice if this wave was the one that started off with it. Come on. See, they all have level 6 cards. It can get irritating really quick, especially since at this point you can only have a lot of low level cards. Fire does well against the plants, though. That was close. get rid of what's up there. Oh well. Ooh, that's a level 7. Please just attack him with fire. Yeah, close enough. My Moogle points, not my Moogle points. And 17 XP. All right. We'll get that up to 200. Make that 200 even. else do we have here? We got another Moogle room, but it's a level 7 card. It's still a little high just to be using, to be using, to show off. Alright. That's how you deal with those. Ah, good. It 
don't think I got that. Alright, continuing on. Got a little bit of health out of that. A little bit more out of that. Alright. Heading over to here. This is probably the last one in this room. Alright, done and done. Get rid of the plant. And we can be on our merry way. Now it looks like we only have one door to exit through. I'll do one more round to make sure I got all the heartless. Yeah, it looks like it. So there's only one door we can go through for right now. And it's this one. And we need 15. Now, if I wanted to, I could use this, and that's gone instantly. I probably should have used it for a different door, but we'll run into them as well. They're all rarer than the usual cards, but they do drop. At least more than the Room of Awards card. Things got a little crazy back there, but at least you're okay. I don't mean to be ungrateful, but was that true? What you said? Are you the thief? What? Of course not. Why would I steal the Queen's memory? Yep, Sora only said that because he wanted to save to show off. <laughs> Is that right? Well, you saved me all the same. Thank you. It's the Cheshire Cat. Feeling better after that mad dash, are we? Oh, but you're not out of the woods yet. I think this is where my favorite line from him comes from. Is this section right here. The queen's a slicker for justice, but she won't forget you till she remembers. She won't stop hounding you till you get her memory back. Does she forget because she remembers? Does she remember that she forgot? Doesn't matter, I suppose. I don't think... I think we ought to just stay away from her. But Sora, what about Alice? If the queen catches her again, it's off with... Well, you know. Then I guess we better do something about the queen. So it's back to the queen's palace then. You should do something. But you don't have to do anything. Huh? I think this is the line. If you can't remember something, it's like it never happened. Likewise, if nothing, something never happened, you can't remember it. Try too hard to remember and your memory might lie to you. That's my favorite line from this game. That's all I'll say. The rest is for you to figure out. I don't know. I really like that quote. It's it's pretty cool. All right. So from here, we have to go back to the Really, you're not going to give me anything. Lame. Oh wait. It sent me back to the bounty room. So that's the room of rewards right there. Alright, so from here we need to go back to the first room. Come on, load screen. So we just need to go... This way. And... To the left. So we have to use any red card and that one. Which you have to do them in order. Let's see. That one's good for leveling up. I think I'll use the premium room. And deep. That'll get us through the door. And into the boss battle. Which, thinking about it now, I probably should have uh, 
upgraded my deck before going into here because I haven't upgraded it since we increased our CP the last couple times. Gosh, what's with the sudden change of scenery? This isn't the Queen's Palace. Let's look around. Everyone knows what this room is. Look up. Oh dear. The Queen's in here for some reason. Thought you'd seen the last of me, did you? Uh oh. How did you not see her and her men in here? It's like right in the middle of the room. How do you not see that? Game's up, scoundrels. For stealing my memory, I sentence you to... I sentence you to... I sentence... Oh? What's going on? Where am I? Huh? What in the world am I doing? Confound it, I can't remember. What's wrong with her? Maybe somebody swiped her memory again? Sora, watch out, something's coming. And now we find the memory thief. Also known as the trickster. If I remember correctly. Trick master or whatever it is. His attacks are exactly the same as the first game, so... He should be pretty easy to do away with. In fact, he's one of the easier bosses. So this is what stole the Queen's memory. Alright. So it's easy to knock him out, and then once he is, you can get a whole bunch of attacks in on him at once. Oop, that's a level 8. Can't avoid that. Fire! Shouldn't recover, good. Yeah. Ah! That was close, but no cigar. Come on. Oop, we got a goofy card. Now, in this room, I don't think using the Mickey card gets, like, stuns the boss. I think in the case that he gets rid of this table, it respawns the table. At least that's what I think it does. I could be wrong. It's five. Come on. Oop, we gotta make a card. There we go. Got a seven in there. Come on, jump. At the right time, you fool. don't remember how to stun him. I know you just have to smack him a bunch of times, but... Yeah, see, it, get... it returns the table back into the middle of the room, essentially. Not this time. Come on, you gotta be about done. There we go. That's not exactly what I had in mind. Because he can't reach up there. Last bit of health here. We got a goofy. Not entirely useful. Alright, let's see here. He hasn't gotten rid of the table again, surprisingly. There we 
go. Oh, it's okay, bud. Someone's having a bad dream. Alright. Pharaoh was apparently having a bad dream. He's doing okay now, though. See, this would be great and all if Goofy could actually attack from up here. But Goofy can't really attack where he needs to attack for this boss specifically. Even when he's down like this, he can't really reach him. Done and done. Settle down, you two. All right, and we leveled up too. And we got the Trick Master card, I think. Yeah, it was Trick Master, that was his name. Okay, let's see here. I think we'll boost him up to 375. Well, give us an extra 75 CP to deal with. It's like three or four cards that I can add to my deck. You there, all of you. What is the meaning of this? Where did that creature come from? How would we know? So you refuse to answer. You're hiding something. They'll, they're plotting against me. Seize them immediately. Please, your majesty, wait. It was you who commanded us to destroy those creatures. Huh? Your majesty and her prudence didn't completely trust us at first. And so at your majesty's command, we fought them to prove ourselves. Isn't that right, Sora? We did? I mean, we did, your uh, majesty. I, I told you to do that? But your majesty, don't you remember? Don't be ridiculous. I never forget anything. Of course I gave the command. You did splendidly. That's not how it went down. Well, that was close. Way to improvise. I never thought I never would have thought of that. But the Cheshire Cat said as much. Try too hard to remember and your memory might lie to you. The Queen would never admit she forgot, so instead she remembered something. That didn't happen. She ended up fooling herself. What is it, Sora? Hmm, nothing. Well, I guess you'll be safe now. And the Queen won't give us any more trouble. After all, we got rid of the Heartless, just like she commanded. Don't tell me you've been fooled too. <laughs> no, of course not. And that concludes Wonderland. So we'll get a few things here and there, some Moogle points, and... HP, you too subtle. Come on, no. Yeah, nothing in there. Got it. Fire. And we should be able to save right up here, which is where I'm going to go ahead and give this episode a pause break real quick. And uh, we'll be back in the next episodes with probably starting, we'll probably do the Olympus Coliseum now. I think I could probably deal with Cloud at this point, so we'll start off there. So, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all then.